feel great. Great. <laughs> feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. I'm so happy to be moving forward. What up, Mary with the Scots? This is Monty. Russ, sleep. I right, said, what's up? We're gonna talk about overcoming adversity. Three things you could do to overcome adversity. By the end of this video, hopefully you have a different perspective how to handle it. Right now we're headed to graduation party. Uh, Asia, she goes to our church. She graduated and this would offset this video. She's been through a lot when the end she graduated college. So I'm super proud of her for doing that. Natalie's in the store right now. Three things you can do to overcome adversity. Um, so keep watching. We are at Asia College graduation party. A, it's really crappy outside, but at least it's just raining so far. I think it might turn into ice or snow later. So depending on what it does, we might be going to Giuseppe's, which I'm kind of excited about because I've never been and I've always wanted to go. But first, we're gonna go to this party and celebrate with Asia. overcoming adversity is to have a goal um, because when you you know have those hardships when you feel like you want to quit and everything's working against you um, if you have that set goal in mind you know that there's a finish line to this race right that's our number one tip is to have a set goal have that goal like whether it's vision board like in your office or by your desk or something that you would see every day so that you don't forget um, why you're on this road. One thing that separates us from any other life on the planet is that we can envision something we have an imagination. So we can picture something before it even exists. So when you start with the end in mind, you will be able to push through the hard times because you have an end goal. You have an end goal. You have an end goal. What you're trying to accomplish to Giuseppe's. Um, the weather seems to be cooperating as long as I mean, like, no ice, no snow, it's just straight rain right now, which is strange in the middle of January, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way to the restaurant. Um, we'll catch up with you guys later. just go ahead and jump into our second tip of the day which is to surround yourself with like-minded people overcome adversity it it's easier if you surround yourself with positive people goal setting people people that have even just like we said the same goal in mind almost even if it's like Asia like I want to graduate college so she has her college friends and her college roommates that she's surrounding herself with she's not backpedaling and hanging out with maybe her high school friends that maybe didn't want to go to college and that could set her back because you would want to hang out with them instead of going to school and focusing so that's just an example if you uh, for example want to start a business you would want to have friends that either already have a business or are starting the same at the same point or similar to you. you go like minded people around you that helps tip number one which is to have a goal in mind so when you feel like quitting or giving up um, those people that you've surrounded yourself 
with will help you to remember your goal. So if you don't have a vision board or if you don't have it even on your screensaver to remind you every single day your purpose, having those people around you will help you back with suggestion for step number one and to have that goal in mind. Somebody is knocked out. Let's get it hanging. <laughs> Oh my god, Doug and I got the exact same thing, but um, instead of shrimp that would have been on our dish, um, we added an additional vegetable. He got spinach, I got broccolini, and we did without the cheese. And it's super delicious. I love it. It's like the perfect spice. Thank you. I got it. I think I here, I got him. <laughs> and two cake pops. And two cake pops. Two grande cultures with two pumps of plastic and coconut milk. Yep, and two uh, cake pops. just got in from Giuseppe's um, it's around 9 30 and we literally just missed the ice like we got home and 10 minutes later just, ice, yeah, like I started <laughs> our windows our house like you could hear it there's no denying so thank God for that because our whole day could have been canceled um, the only thing that wasn't necessarily up in the air was Doug had to work this morning other than that everything else was up in the air haircuts graduation party dinner with family um so fortunately we got to do everything it was a really good day um it was fun i loved um the kids haircuts um hair looks great um we got to celebrate graduation with um someone that we've known since she was a baby right asia shout out to asia congrats asia yeah. so super proud of you Seriously, I, every time I think of it, I still want to cry. Like I went there and I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna cry. And thank God, like my kids are so crazy that I just get like so focused on them that I forget the emotion. But the moment I walk in, I want to cry, but then my kids go crazy, so that goes away. I saw Doug um, interview her, so you'll see a part of that, or you've already seen a part of that. Um, that made me want to cry. I have no idea what she was saying but just still seeing everything that she's overcome is such an inspiration to me she's much younger than i am or than we are but I mean, you just, are. Okay. i'm, I'm younger that. than I'm you are old, first baby. of all I'm first old, of all i'm baby. much younger Young, I mean. anyways um but no it, it's seriously she is such a great inspiration i love to see like people that are older younger same age but more particularly younger than us, I, I love it. I mean, it's, it's still an inspiration to me and I want those younger people in our lives to know that they are an inspiration to those that are older than them even. Um, just to overcome such obstacles or right. things that could have gone wrong for them. Um, so yeah, overall it was a really great day. Good I day. loved having dinner with our family. We got everything that we thought we couldn't do was up in the air. We did everything. So that's basically it, man. The last tip, we haven't forgot the last tip, but remember God, family of everything. If you haven't joined the family, this vlog is about keeping God first, building strong families so that we can all grow together. Um, join the family, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you get alerts when we do the videos. Uh, if you like this video, like it, if not, dislike it but uh like we're here for the long haul uh, but the last tip we're going to discuss the last tip here you got anything else you want to say Black, i am full-blooded mexican i know i've mentioned it before but one thing that we have in common you're mexican <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> stupid 
<laughs> one thing that we have in common, even though we come from, you know, two different races, religion even, apostolic, born and raised Catholic, like the, the common denominator there is God. Like both of our parents have been married for over 30 plus years. Um, it's just a huge factor in our lives is what it is, you know, literally God, family over everything. Asia is a great inspiration to everyone. Adversity can be a nightmare. I truly understand that. But it does give us a chance to grow as people and to grow in God. Asia lost her mom and her grandfather. I don't even remember the time frame between the two. I just remember it being close in time. We all have different adversities we have to overcome. 2 Corinthians 4, 8, 9 says, We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. Sometimes in life, it's hard. Remember, the night is the clearest when it's the darkest. When you have God as your foundation, all the good, the bad, and the ugly is working together in your favor. All you have to do is get up, don't stop, keep going. Keeping God as number one as your foundation, we can all make it. Remember, God, family, over everything. I graduated from Wright State with a bachelor's in crime and justice and a minor in psychology. I feel great. great. <laughs> I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. I'm so happy to be moving to work with kids um, in the juvenile system. Um, I did an internship and I've seen a lot of things that they deal with and a lot of uh, the problems that they face. Um, so I want to do a nonprofit organization for kids, um, like a group home of my grandma. <laughs> uh, my grandma, uh, she was right in my corner. She always prayed for me, always made sure I was okay. Um, anytime I needed anything, she was right there. Um, when I needed to come home, you know, meals on the weekend, you know, college is a struggle. <laughs> she always provided that. Um, she was just a big help in um, my college career. His things uh, that helped me was a Bible study group that I got into called um, In His Presence Ministries. Um, it was great to be able to connect with different people um, in college, you know, that go through similar things um, and to come to overcome them in a positive way. So to keep going, don't give up. Um, you're going to overcome in the end. Uh, a little adversity doesn't mean that it's the end. Just keep striving forward. Keep golfers. <laughs>